Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the Curve Filler tool. The Curve Filler tool can be accessed under Curve Edit, and you click and hold on Duplicate, and it's a third tool to the right. So as the name suggests, so you can create a fillet. It is kind of like the Surface Fillet tool, except it is designed for curves. So let me just show you guys how it works. So in order to start, I'm just going to double click on the curve filler tool and I'm gonna change some of the settings. So for the construction type, I'm gonna say chord and for the section, I'm gonna say G2 and the, for the chord length, I'm going to just go with 100 like this. And what you can do is um, there are several situations where you can use this and you can use them on curves, surface edges and also curving surfaces. So I'm gonna go over all of them. So what you can do is just click on the curve like this and you'll see a little manipulator right here. And all you have to do is just say build like this. And I'm just going to move to a surface edge like that. And you can even do it on a curving surface like this. Now, one thing that you have to be aware is that this actually, uh, this blue manipulator that you saw indicates the area or the direction that your fillet is going to be. So let me just show you guys uh, how it works. So let's say I have a curve that it extends beyond the, uh, the, uh, the point in which they meet. So let's say I do a curve fillet with this. Right now, because I put the manipulator here and here, it uh, creates a, a curve fillet in this direction. But let's say I switch it over to here, then it's going to create in this direction. Same thing with this one, like this. And if I were to just sw uh, swap this over, it'll create it over here. Now, uh, where would you be creating the curve fillet tool? So there are several situations where um, a normal surface fillet might not work and curve fillet tool, using the curve fillet tool can be a, gr a great alternative to using the surface fillet. So let me just hide this over here. Let's say you have a surface like this where it has a kind of an angle. Now, if, there was, uh, if this was a little bit lower, uh, using a surface filler would be totally fine, but sometimes it, uh, in an extreme situation like this, using a curve filler tool can be a great alternative. And let me explain to you guys why. So let's say I have a surface fillet and it's going to be chord G2. I set the chord length to 100. I'm just going to create a fillet. And you'll see that, let me just hide the curves for a second. You so said the, it is, while the surface fillet is balanced, it creates a good highlight. The edge is a little bit imbalanced because there's a little bit less room here to, actually, let me just bring the curve back. You'll see that the distance between here and here to the theoretical is a lot smaller than this one. So the, it doesn't exactly create a perfectly balanced fillet or the edge. Now, in this case, what you can do is, depending on the situation, you can use a curved fillet. Now, it is not recommended all the time, but this can be helpful. So let me just use a curved fillet. So I'm just going to, well, the size might be a little bit small. So if I use a curved fillet like this, you'll see that the distance to the theoretical is much more balanced. Now that does affect the surface uh, over here, but it still is a great way to, if, you, uh, if the edge is more critical than the surface transition, this is a great way to create a fillet. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, maybe not too big. Maybe I'll just do 150 like this. And what you can do is you can either copy this curve like this, and I'm just going to put it here, put it here. And I'm just going to use the stretch tool like this. Now it is a little bit imbalanced over here. So this is something that you might have to balance it out. But for this demo, I'm just going to just quickly create a surface fillet, not a surface fillet, but just a fillet. Uh, so let me just go ahead and use a square to fill the hole. So I'm going to say curvature on one side like this. And let me just do a rebuild. Looks like that doesn't work. So I'm just going to increase, uh, do an explicit control just to five and one. Now the highlight might not be as 
smooth, uh, you'll see that there's a little bit of a harsh transition over here. So this is something that you ha have to balance, but at least the edge is a lot more balanced than before. So this is something that, uh, uh, this is one case where you can use it. Uh, another case, let me just show you a more real life example. So let me just bring the surface in. Now, this is an intake of the Audi, uh, Audi e-tron project that I did, the front intake. And you'll see that if I try to do a surface fillet, let's some, create something. I don't think it's going to be that big. Okay, so you'll see that I tried to do a surface fillet of 50. It won't create. Let me just try 20. 20, yes, I can make it. 30, you'll see that it fails. Now, the reason why it fails is because the distance between here and here compared to the width is too great. Because, let me just show you guys what I mean. Let's say I want to do deep, oh, actually, let me just go to 20. Now, you'll see that with the default mode, it still, uh, it still creates a fillet. But as I make this a little bit bigger, it becomes a little bit smaller. So let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger. 30, 30 fails. Let me 28, 27, 26. Oh, it looks like 25 is the max. Okay, All right. So it has to do with the distance distance between uh, the width and also the size of the fillet. So in this case, if I try to create something bigger, obviously the size of the fillet over here is too big for this fillet tool to work properly. So in this case, what you can do is you can use a curve fillet. So I would prefer to make this a little bit um, bigger than the inside radius. So let's see if I can make this. Um, I'm going to set this to 50. I think that's a pretty good size. And because of right now this has a little lead in, a little bit of acceleration, I'm going to make the form factor something a little bit similar. So maybe 0.5, I think that should, yeah. That look, uh, looks like that works. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect the dots between here and here, here and here. I'm just going to project over here like this. I'm going to delete the curves because they're no longer necessary. I'm going to trim over here. And I'm just going to finish it off with the square. So one, two, three, and four. And you have a very nice fillet like this. So. In this case, curve fillet works as a great alternative, although it takes a little bit more step to the surface fillet tool. Okay, so that's the curve fillet tool. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.